How much paper can be produced from one tree? Maybe four or five tons. Yeah. Mm, I think maybe ten tons. However, those answers are all overestimated. In fact, only around one ton of paper can be produced from one tree, which indicates that most of us do not have a clear understanding of paper. So what is paper? Paper is a thin material produced by pressing together moist fibers of cellulose pulp derived from wood, rags or grasses, and drying them into flexible sheets. It is a versatile material with many uses, including writing, printing, packaging, cleaning, and a number of industrial and construction processes. But, is there any of the environmental impact? Actually, the paper-making process is not a clean one. According to the U.S. Toxic Release Inventory Report published by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency EPA, Pulp and paper mills are among the worst polluters to air, water and land of any industry in the country. The World Watch Institute offers similar statistics for the rest of the world. Each year millions of pounds of highly toxic chemicals such as toluene, methanol, chlorine dioxide, hydrochloric acid and formaldehyde are released into the air and water from paper-making plants around the world. Paper making also uses up vast quantities of trees, but trees are a renewable resource, which means that once one is cut down another can be planted in its place. In fact, much of the wood used by paper companies in the U.S. comes from privately owned farms, where forests are planted, groomed and thinned for harvest in 20 to 35 year cycles, depending on the tree species. Around the world, tree farms supply 16% of all wood used in the paper industry, while the bulk comes from second-growth forests. Less than 9% of the wood used to make paper is harvested from old-growth forests, which are impossible to replace because of their maturity. There are still some paper-wasting behaviors around us. Just uh, put one or two slides on one page of the paper, and also when um, taking notes, um, just use part of the notebooks. Um, which I mean, don't make full use of the notebook. Just write words on several pages. I think a uh, lot of people will leave much tissue after their they, their meals. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, in China, there are lots of examinations which will spend lots of papers. So I think it is a waste, waste of paper. I think that when I go shopping, and people sometimes they prefer to use the paper bag. But some people just use the paper bag, paper bag for one time and then throw them away. But in fact, it can be used for a lot of times. And sometimes people only buy a very small thing, such as uh, one coat or just a box, but they will use a very, very big paper, paper bag. In fact, they can just use a very, very small paper bag, and that will also save some paper, I think. How to correct those behaviors? Um, maybe we can use the computer to see the PPT slides or some other documents, uh, which means we don't print them out. And if you have to print the slides out, put more slides on one page. And also we can use fewer paper cups and um, paper plates. I think uh, when we need to write down something, we can use computers, iPhones, or something else uh, and uh, when we meet, eat meals we can uh, take away those uh, those those tissues we we leave okay uh, maybe books you know that sometimes when I finish reading a book oh no not me uh, some other people, if they finish reading a book, maybe they will throw the book away. But in fact, they can uh, give the book to others who need, who also need them. So in this way, it will decrease the consumption of books and it will also save some paper. 
Mm, you know, firstly, when you go shopping, you can bring your own bag instead of using the paper bag. It will save some paper. And secondly, if you have some old books, you can mm, give them to others or donate them. Or if you don't want to give others, you can also share the books with others. And instead of just throw them out, I think that it will also save some paper. And um, in fact, uh, with the technology development, there is no need to read hard copy. You can read some ebook online. I think it will also save some paper. Is there any other solutions? Buying in bulk is a good way to reduce paper waste from packaging. Next time you or your family go shopping, make sure you take reusable bags and buy what you can in bulk. Send, receive, and store electronic records instead of paper copies. Most documents these days can be shared and stored electronically, meaning you don't have to print off paper copies for your records. For instance, if you need a copy of an electronic document, request that it be sent to you by email. Use electronic calendars and day timers. There are plenty of free calendars and schedulers available online. By using an electronic calendar, you can save the paper that would have been used on a calendar, organizer, journal, or other type of scheduler. Use reusable cloths instead of paper products. Around the house, a lot of paper is wasted every year on things like paper towels and napkins. To replace paper towels in the kitchen and bathroom, use tea towels to dry dishes, old rags to clean, and sponges to wipe up spills. To replace facial tissues, invest in a few handkerchiefs that can be washed and reused. Use real dinnerware instead of paper. When you have a party or any time the paper plates come out, ask to use the real dinnerware instead. If your family likes to go on picnics or camping trips, invest in reusable plastic dinnerware. You can get plates, bowls, cups, and utensils that are durable, unbreakable, reusable, and not made from paper. Use paper from other plant sources. There are times when it's simply not possible to avoid paper-like products. Luckily, there are tree-free paper products available that are made from alternative plant sources, and many of these have a lower impact on the environment. Use reusable grocery and lunch bags. Many grocery stores provide paper bags to pack groceries. You can save paper by investing in reusable grocery bags. Similarly, if your lunches are normally packed in paper bags, ask about switching to a reusable lunch bag instead. Sendy cards. Lots of people like to send greeting cards for birthdays, holidays, and other events, and this leads to plenty of paper waste. Instead of sending paper greeting cards, send electronic greeting cards for future celebrations. Read e-books or library books. Printed books are made with paper, so you can save paper by using public versions of books that are available at the library or by reading electronic copies instead. Use computers instead of notebooks for school and work. School and work notebooks are a great way to keep track of things. You're supposed to learn and projects you're working on, but you can save paper by keeping electronic notes instead. Buy recycled paper products. There are paper products available that are made with recycled paper, which means that no new trees were cut down to make those products. When you do need to buy paper products, look for things that were made with post-consumer waste, including bathroom tissues, printing paper, greeting cards and paper bags. Use both sides of a piece of paper. When you do have to print or write things down on paper, make sure you write on both sides. When writing in notebooks, always fill the pages completely, and don't start a fresh book until you've filled all the pages. Reuse gift bags, wrapping paper, newspaper, and tissue. When you get a gift, keep the bag or wrapping paper it came in so that you can use it again for another gift. 
Newspaper can also be repurposed as an eco-friendly wrapping paper or tissue paper to stuff a gift bag. Turn old paper products into crafts. There are plenty of crafts that require paper, so instead of using fresh sheets, why not reuse old paper? You can use old newspapers, cards, and other materials to make things like origami, wreaths, and paper flowers. Recycle paper you can't reuse. Paper that goes in the garbage just ends up in a landfill. But paper that goes into the recycling bin can be sent to a special facility and turned into something new. So, it's time to save paper from now.